and welcome to the cottage. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I have got my tea and a festive mug today and I thought it would be a good time to do a Christmas tag. And this tag is called a very merry tag. And there's 10 questions and I'm really hoping those of you who are content creators will um, give this tag a try. And for those of you who do not have a channel, um, love to see your answers in the comments down below. So let's get started. Oh, <laughs> and I should mention, I have Isabel and Jasmine with me and they are all dressed up in their Christmas festive wear. So of course I thought they would be the perfect babies for you to admire while I do this tag. So number one is your number one favorite thing about Christmas. And that's a really easy one for me because um, my three children, my grandchildren, my mom, my mother-in-law, they all live in different parts of my province. And at Christmas time, if you know, everybody has time off work. They all come home to the farm and what is usually a very, very quiet place um, becomes a very, very busy, noisy place because everybody brings their dogs. We end up with five dogs all <laughs> fighting and playing and <laughs> eating and um, we all go for hikes in the trails around the farm, walks on the beach and we do lots of um, target practice down at our gun range um, at the end of our property and it's just a really fun time. Lots of laughing and talking and eating and um, I just look so forward to that. And my husband's of course coming home from the province he works in so he'll be here and I'm just, I'm so excited you guys. I'm so excited. So number two is, do you purchase, make, craft, bake gifts? And for me, it's all three. <laughs> I, every year, I make a big purchase from a, uh, a lavender farm that is in a nearby island. Um, not the island that I live on, but an island very close to me. And they, ha they have an organic lavender farm and they make the most beautiful bath products like bath gels and soaps and essential oils. And everybody on my list gets... Um, a gift basket from this particular uh, lavender farm. And one of the big reasons, aside from their products being so, so beautiful, is that they also have a therapeutic riding program. And the sales of their lavender products support the therapeutic riding program. So I really, really like that. Um, the other thing is I I'm very craft challenged, but I do really like to bead and I love making bracelets, particularly out of natural stone. Um, one type of stone that I make, uh, it's called amzonite and when it's, uh, you know, against your skin, it's supposed to have calming properties. So I make quite a few of those bracelets for family and friends. Um, Baking, I I make a really mean peanut brittle and my neighbors around me, uh, they're all farmers and they all gift me with, you know, the bounty produced from their farms and, uh, and I do the same with my peanut brittle. And I'm hoping lavender sachets once my lavender field gets growing a little better. Um, and then of course, you know, with my grandchildren, they had um, toys on their list that, you know, I certainly can't make. Um, my granddaughter wanted her first Cabbage Patch doll um, and my grandson was really wanting a Nerf gun. So, of course, I had to make a trip to Toys R Us for that. Um, so, number three is, do you have stockings for your family and if so, for adults and pets also? And the answer is yes. My kids have always said to me that if they got no gifts other than their stocking, they would be happy. I love doing stockings. And this year, I am doing stockings for seven adults, um, two children, my grandchildren, um, and, all, and five dogs. 
<laughs> and then I do one stocking just for all the bunnies. Um, they get toys and treats in their stocking. So um, the answer is yes. Every every adult, child, and fur baby gets a stocking at my farm on Christmas morning. And actually this year, I decided to use sacks rather than stockings because um, I just really find it's hard to get all the goodies in, uh, you know, the, the stockings that the kids have had since they were little. So I'll be doing sacks for everybody. Um, number four is, do you enjoy Christmas decorating any special decor? And oh my gosh, I love decorating for Christmas. Um, I just absolutely love going into my uh, storage um, room that I have off the nursery here and bringing out all those decorations that I've had since, you know, the kids were babies. And I've still got the angel from my husband and I's first Christmas tree um, when we were first married. And um, I did a video showing my vintage Santas, my cloth teak Santas. I just so look forward to unboxing them and putting them out. And then I have a beautiful um, nativity scene that I put on the mantle in the living room and, you know, put lights all around it, which I'll be showing you guys once I get the lights up. Yes, I love decorating for Christmas. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just my thing. <laughs> we haven't done our tree yet because um, it's just been so busy around here with, uh, with farm chores, but we'll be doing that early this week for sure. Um, so number five is, do you do Christmas baking? If so, what? And yes, I do Christmas baking, not as much as I used to because, um, my kids are all very health conscious and they're all on, you know, organic, you know, sort of different types of diets. So they don't eat a lot of the kind of goodies that I used to make. Um, and I'm too chubby. <laughs> But um, I do have some favorites that I that I make. Um, one thing that I absolutely have to have at Christmas is my mom's fruit cake. Um, she makes the most amazing fruit cake. It was my Grammy's recipe, and she makes that every year, and we all look forward to it. Um, so that's and she also makes the amazing shortbread. So <laughs> what you're probably getting from this is it's not me doing the baking so much as my mom. <laughs> But we do generally have a day where we make gingerbread men. We all get together, all of us ladies, like my, my mom, myself, and my, my two daughters, and we make gingerbread men because my husband's German, and that's something that he grew up on was homemade gingerbread. So number six is, do you have traditional dishes for Christmas dinner? And the question, and the answer is yes, very traditional. We do the big turkey, even though I don't eat um, meat. Um, a lot of members of my family do. And we purchase an organic free range turkey that's had a wonderful life um, on a neighboring farm. And, um, you know, unfortunately they have one bad day, but um, we do the turkey, we do, we have a cranberry farm across the street. I buy the cranberries from there. They're organic as well. And I make, you know, the jelly and we have the dressing and, uh, we also do what's called a tofurkey. It's, it's like, um, it's like turkey meat, but it's made out of soya beans. Um, and that's what myself and my daughters have because we don't eat meat. Um, and then, you know, of course, we have the Brussels sprouts and 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 um, and we do squash. Everything from our turkey dinner uh, comes from the farms around uh, our our farm, our farm. And so, yeah, it's you know, we're supporting local farmers and everything is so delicious and, you know, and healthy. So we really do the traditional Christmas dinner and uh Number seven is your favorite Christmas gift as an adult. Well, guys, <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, I am going to receive this year, I think, the my most favorite gift. And um, you will be seeing the box opening because it should, this gift should be here just before Christmas if all goes well. Um... I am getting my first silicone 
baby for Christmas. And it's from me to me because I unfortunately had to part with two of my reborns to make it possible to purchase this baby. And she is being custom made in Russia as we speak. And I'm hoping that she will be here for Christmas. And if she is, that will definitely be my favorite Christmas gift. Um, so number nine is, do you have lots of family and friends or do you have just a quiet, um, calm Christmas? And the reason I say quiet and calm is because my house is a zoo. Like, like I said, there's five dogs in my house, my adult children, um, you know, my son-in-law, my mom, my mother-in-law, my grandkids are in and out and, um, it's crazy here. It's absolutely crazy. It's just, you know, it's, yeah, it's just so busy. Everybody's talking and laughing and eating and, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's, sometimes it can be almost a, a tad overwhelming because I live out on the farm on my own usually because my husband works away from home. My kids have their own careers and their own homes. So, you know, it's a real kerfuffle for a few days, but, you know, a wonderful kerfuffle. Um, but I know of, um, you know, some neighbors of mine who are seniors and, um, you know, their kids are not able to come home for Christmas. And so we go to visit them and, you know, it's just them and they're at their farm looking after their animals and it's very quiet and calm and I actually do enjoy going over to visit them you know they make us an eggnog and and some little appetizers and I just always think oh this is so quiet <laughs> it's so quiet and calm <laughs> so both kind of Christmases are nice um and then number 10 is um do you have any special Christmas traditions? And I had to really think about this because um, I, I just always assume our Christmas traditions are kind of very similar to other people's. Like, you know, we do stockings. Um, you know, we have Christmas crackers at the table. I don't know if you guys um, do those. Uh, that's just tradition in my family. Um course having our day making gingerbread men for my husband that's a tradition we do every year um another tradition of course is our a big family hike where we you know everybody including my mom who's 79 and you know in better shape than I am we all go on a big hike and um we take the dogs and then when we come back we have you know hot chocolate or tea and you know um some goodies but that's something we do every year. We all, you know, head out on a big hike and, you know, we're gone for, you know, a couple hours pretty much. So I guess that's kind of a family tradition um, that we've always done. And we did that with the kids too. When the kids were little, we would, you know, go on a big, usually Christmas Eve, um, we would go on a big um, family hike. And another thing I guess I should mention that's tradition is that we go, my husband and I go over to our grandchildren's home on Christmas Eve and we have um we have lunch um with uh our grand our grandson and our granddaughter and their mother and um and you know whatever family they have and um and the kids open their gifts from us on Christmas Eve because they have their own family dinner over there and um and they you know um they they enjoy you know kind of doing both you know we have our kind of Christmas Eve morning lunch well it's kind of brunch I guess we generally take the food um and uh and we have a nice lunch and we get to see the kids open their gifts and I really really look forward to that and then I leave stockings um for them to open the morning so they get two stockings their mom of course does one from Santa and then we um we have one from from uh, Nana and Papa as well. So they get two stockings. They're pretty spoiled. But they're our only grandchildren at this point. So um, we have a lot of fun spoiling them. Anyway, I would absolutely love for those of you who have channels to do this tag. And I'm just going to show you the questions. So there is one to three.
and then there is four to six. There is seven to nine. And there is 10. And I would absolutely love to hear your answers. Um, and like I said, if you don't have a channel, please um, answer down below or, you know, leave me a comment, just giving me a little idea of what type of things that you do to celebrate, you know, this, this beautiful season. But I'm sure we can all agree that, you know, the number one thing about Christmas is it's not the gifts, it's not the decorations, it's just purely, um, you know, having a day to, having a day or days to spend with the people we love, whether it be friends or family or both. And, um, and, you know, however you choose to celebrate that, um, with the people that you love. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And as always, take care.